Handstand in 156 days. Handstand press in 703 days. And front lever? Still nothing, which leads us to the first and the biggest mistake. Geek Climber and many other people still think that it is true. You don't have to have big muscles to be able to do skills. Well, when it comes to the planche or front lever, you don't want to fight the gravity by fair play, because it will be almost impossible. Oh my god! So in order to make skills way easier, you need to cheat a little bit and do the famous strategy of skipping legs because your center of mass will move a little bit up, which means the lever will be much easier. Yeah, Geek Climber is light, but his center of mass is quite far away. And so for him it would be best to forget about strength training, because after more than 10 years of climbing, his muscles are totally maxed out and they won't become much stronger until he will build bigger ones. And one more thing before we get in those videos is that he should stop using math and physics for everything. Yeah, it's good to prove his theory, but if he would rather focus on training the front lever, he could already achieve it by now. <laughs> After one year from the last video. <laughs> I injured my finger from climbing, so I decided to learn the handstands. Um, well, that's a really good decision when in handstand you are using your fingers too, but okay. <laughs> This is literally the worst way how to start training handstand. See, freestanding handstand consists of basically two exercises. The kick up and the handstand itself. And why you are trying to kick up into something you can't even hold. So the best way how to train handstand is by doing handstand against the wall. Put one leg in the air and then the second one. And of course this is pretty much the safest way how to learn the balance because you can't pretty much fall forward. Okay, I take that back. Another big mistake is not using fingers, because ideally you should spread your fingers and bend them quite a lot to be able to push hard with them. You are constantly switching between pushing with your fingers and palms. I tried back to wall kick up to handstand, but it didn't work. Well, that didn't work not because of the exercise. <laughs> Uh, I just explained it. I changed my head position. Can somebody tell me what idiot told him to look back? I decided to get real with myself and set two intermediate goals. The first one was to able to do a headstand. There's no point of learning headstand. Okay, let me tell you how the correct journey to the handstand should look like. Stage 1. Push-ups. Stage 2. Either pike push-ups or just a simple pike hold. Stage 3. Handstand against the wall. Stage 4 is all about learning the balance with the method that I told you earlier. Stage 5 is learning how to safely turn and not fall on your back, for example. And stage 6 is learning the actual kick up. When I did back to wall handstand, I was unable to open my shoulders, so I could never balance myself. You don't have to bother too much about shoulder mobility because you can do handstand even without it. It will be just a little bit harder because you are almost like in a mini pledge, you know. <laughs> I needed to find an experienced spotter to spot me so I could be upside down for a longer time and learn to find the balance point faster. Well, that, that's why you should stay doing it against the wall and practice the balance there. I don't see a point of bothering another guy when you could do the same thing against the wall. Simply, I don't know what handstand tutorials Geek Climber watched because either they were really bad or he was just sleeping during them and missed all this information. <laughs> How in the world is a top planche a given? I can't be the only one that feels this way. Because not everybody starts Kaisteng's journey right with the planche, but with basic exercises for a few months maybe. As usual, I started from watching at least 10 tutorial videos on YouTube. Guys, I hope he didn't sleep this time. The first thing I immediately realized is that it felt like my elbows were about to snap when I attempted the top planche. Okay, he slept because I'm sure that they said to start with the planche leans. <laughs> I was unable to lean forward enough. This position is actually hard because you wanna hold tuck planche almost like halfway pressed into the handstand. Therefore, the exercises I decided to work on were three sets of three rep max effort planche leans. 
30 days later. My God. Scapula protraction is not equal to hunchback. Even though both result in a rounded back? Well, not really. Protraction doesn't mean protract your spine. Only thing you need to do is to move your shoulders forward and any other movement is almost like unnecessary. I applied this fix and this happened. It seems to me like this all struggle was mainly due to bad technique because at the beginning he was either too high or had legs too far away. And now when he understood the correct form, he learned it. Initially, I thought about goals like doing 20 push-ups in a row. But honestly, that's a boring goal. But very important goal, because otherwise you will learn the handstand press for 700 days. <laughs> the pipe push-up is the first exercise to work on. The pipe push-up looks easy, but it is actually incredibly hard to do it right. You see, but doing 20 basic push-ups is boring. All right, all right then. I rush to do exercises with higher intensity, such as the elevated pipe push-up or the chest-to-wall handstand push-up. Can anyone tell me why would you learn handstand press by doing handstand push-ups? Why would you use harder exercise to learn easier move? <sighs> I was constantly in a cycle of doing exercises with high intensity that my body wasn't ready for, getting injured. I experienced injuring my wrists, shoulders, triceps, and serratus anterior. And all this because it skipped basics. Training non-optimally is still better than zero training. I experienced injuring my wrists, shoulders, triceps, and serratus anterior. Let me tell you the correct journey again. Stage one is being able to do 20 to 30 reps of push-ups, which will get you automatically like five pike push-ups, maybe, I don't know. Stage two is mastering pike push-ups. Stage three is doing these stack press palms. You will greatly benefit from them. Stage four is pressing into the bent arm handstand. And then finally, do the whole move in the stage five. I was finally able to Why is he looking backwards? Why is he looking backwards? <laughs> the more we bend our elbows, the more difficult it is to push ourselves up. Therefore, it will be easier to perform the bend on press and stand if our elbows are bent as little as possible. Um, I disagree with this because anything lower or higher than the 90 degrees will be much harder. Do the 90 degrees version or just do the straight arm version. Anything between those two, it will be always harder. Just stick to those 90 degrees, guys. Eventually, on day 703... <laughs> 703 days? Uh, oh, wait, that's two years. <laughs> I just realized it's two years for headstand press. <laughs> Well, how to summarize this video into a few sentences? Lack of knowledge, even though today with all the information you can find, it's almost like impossible to choose bad approach. Skipping basics, causing him to not be strong enough and as I said, training one rep maxes and therefore training for strength doesn't build bigger muscles that much, which have potential to become stronger. And lastly, the fact that he trains press just with 10 seconds handstand hold it's really silly because 10 seconds means pretty much nothing. 25 to 40 seconds, that's when you can say that you have pretty much mastered the balance. So my advice for Geek Climber and also to you all would be to gain much more mass, which will make the levers easier, you will get stronger and then you can start learning either those lever based skills or like normal one arm pull ups, handstand push ups, because otherwise it will take forever to learn you will only hardly beat the gravity by fair play. If you would like to see part 2 uh, of like muscle ups, one arm pull ups and basically pulling skills, it's simple, I enjoy doing these videos, if you will enjoy these videos, there's no point of not doing it. So comment down below, thank you for watching, see you guys.